And then about a month later, someone at that point shouted out, what about your hand as an alternate orifice? And I, I went, well, <laughs> well, my hand is scarcely an orifice, is it? I'm not Jesus Christ. I mean, I say I was quite pleased with that. I thought I was off the top of my head, that was quite witty. You know, it's better than the stab wound in the stomach thing, which is a bit suspicious. <laughs> but, that's cool. but as I was driving home, I'd never really thought, I started to think, oh, I've never really thought about that before. But I, I actually wouldn't mind having a little crack <laughs> at the old stigmata of Jesus. That'd be quite an interesting... It'd be quite an interesting sexual experience to go through, I think, wouldn't it? You know, it'd be, it'd be quite tight. Those nails weren't that big, but... <laughs> That's not a bad thing. The tightness is a good bit, a bit less bone there, Jesus. That's good. Yeah, it was just. <laughs> and as you be going, you're gonna be going, then going. This is quite an interesting experience. I've never really experienced anything like this before. I'm quite enjoying it. But every now and again, you'd look up and go, I can't believe who it is <laughs> who is doing this. That's that's Jesus there from off of the from off of the Bible. He's in the he was in the second one, the sequel. He wasn't in the main one. They brought him in as a new character to try and liven things up. And the second one, a bit like Jar Jar Binks. He's about as, <laughs> about as popular as that, he turned out. He's no Abraham, is he, let's face it. He's, Jesus is wanking me off with his stigmata. I say stigmata, you say stigma. So it's... <laughs> yeah, thank you. Somebody tell, you, uh, somebody tell your mates down the pub about that, innit? I mean, it's, it's a bit gay, but I think that... I think the fact is, Jesus would, you know, even your most homophobic mates would be impressed. Well, actually, Jack, the real one wanking me off. With, with Jesus' consent, I'm not, I'm not talking about raping the stigmata of Jesus. That, that would be blasphemous. I've been going out with Jesus about seven months before I even bring this idea up. I'm not going to go, date one, oh, will you wank me off with your nail wounds, Jesus? I'm not going to do that. I've got some tact. Because Jesus is going to be suspicious of that. A lot of blokes who date, most of the blokes who date Jesus, that's all they're interested in. And he's, from bitter experience, Jesus has learned that. So I'm going to be, I'm not going to be like them. I'm going to be cool for seven months. We just do normal. We just do kissing. Me and Jesus, a bit of mutual masturbation. That's as far as we'll go in the first, maybe about six months in, when Jesus is asleep, I might just put the tip in, you know, just to, just to check I actually like it. Because, you know... It'd be a shame, you know, to put it and go, oh, actually, this is what I'm doing is a bit weird. I'm not going <laughs> to... It's getting no play. I don't, there's no point in embarrassing Jesus with that later on. You know? But if I go, yeah, that's quite nice. I imagine if Jesus was, you know, awake and moving around, this would be even better than just... It's a bit weird doing it while he's asleep. <laughs> if I got off on that entirely, be, I'd be a bit of a pervert. But <laughs> then, like, it's seven months in, I go, oh, Jesus, we're going through a bit of a sexual malaise like that couple in Cardiff, you know the two, I mean, and, uh, of course you do, and, uh, what can we do to spice things up a bit? And I go, oh, I don't know, I wonder, I've been, I know what I'm going to say, I've been thinking about nothing else for seven months, <laughs> just going through this, just to, my, not to make Jesus feel embarrassed, and I go, oh, oh, um, oh, why don't you dress up as a policeman, Jesus, that'd be quite good. I don't want that, I'm just saying that to put him off the scent. Uh, oh, no, you don't really like authority figures, do you? You had that bad time uh, experience last time you were here. Um, Oh, I've just had an idea, Jesus. Why don't you wank me off with your nail wounds? And then if, if Jesus loved me, uh, and it's my understanding that Jesus does love me, uh, <laughs> that's what I've been told. He'd give that a go, wouldn't he? You know, you do that for someone you love. You do. He could do your mate at the same time. That's the beauty of Jesus. It's multi-functional. Old Dan Thomas could be on the other hand. The way Dan Thomas tricks Jesus into it, he goes, I'm not sure it is you, Jesus, because I remember you died a little bit ago. And unless I've actually put my cock into your wounds, I don't think I can be sure it's you. My fingers aren't quite sent. Only a cock would really, would really do the job, Jesus. He knows it's Jesus. He's even calling him Jesus. That's how bad he is at it. But Jesus is falling for this because it's flattering Jesus's ego. <laughs> <laughs> then he goes, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm still not sure it's you, Jesus. I think the real Jesus would do it a bit faster than that. There's the, uh... <laughs> the other disciples didn't call him Doubting Thomas. It was Stigmata Raping Thomas. That was his official <laughs> nickname. He got changed in the New Testament. But uh, then it struck me, Jesus is actually my perfect sexual partner because he's already got a stab wound in the stomach. Hasn't he ready to go? I don't have to put that in myself. That's ready to go. He's got, he's got a mouth, Jesus, which is great. He's got an anus, 
presumably. Um, some people think he doesn't have an anus because he, he was too holy, ironically. But, um, <laughs> But I, he was quite a skinny guy, wasn't he? He was thin, he was limber, he ate a lot of fish and bread. He must have, it must have come out at some point in 33 years. He must have had an anus, I would say. I mean, yeah, Buddha, maybe that explains, maybe Buddha didn't have an anus, that explains it, but Jesus definitely had an It wouldn't be like a normal human anus, it would be a, a godly anus, it would be made of gold. Uh, and he'd poo little golden eggs, like, you know, from Jack and the Bean, Beanstalk. It would be like, it wouldn't be this, it'd be a... Wouldn't be the size of a human anus, because he's got to be like a little boy's anus. It would be the size, <laughs> little tiny, tight, little golden anus. It would be, but that, if we're honest, that'd be better, wouldn't it? If, you, if, we're, if we're really honest about it. It's not a boy's anus, it's still the same age as the rest of Jesus, so it's like having all the fun of paedophilia without any of the stigma. <laughs> there isn't a man in this room. Girls, there isn't a man in this room whose ultimate fantasy isn't to fuck the tiny golden boy's anus on the rectum of a major religious figure. If Jesus, if Jesus came in now wobbling that around for you, he'd be off like a shot, darling. He's just with you till that happens. That's what I'm telling you. He's got an anus. He hasn't got a vagina. That's the only drawback with Jesus as a lover for me. But um, if Jesus loved me, and it's my understanding, Jesus still loves me, even at this point. He's looking down from heaven going, I fucking love Richard Herring, he is great. I love the way he does this every single night, never learning. Adding, if anything, a more offensive thing every time he does it. I do that for you, Jesus. Keep it fresh. You have to see it every night. I'm just keeping it fresh for you. I love, he can't love everyone equally. It's like when you've got kids, isn't it? You, there's always one you don't really like. As much. You pretend you love them all equally. You don't. It's like, I mean, God, he can't love us all. Some people are wankers. He can't love everyone. I mean, he, Jesus can't love Steve Martin, can he? He must be... <laughs> He must be disappointed. <laughs> but uh, he hasn't got a vagina, but if he loved me, and it's my understanding he still loves me, he'd be prepared to tuck his genitals up between his legs, like walk around like that, wouldn't he? It would look like he had a little vagina there for me, wouldn't he? To, fuck, he's Jesus, he can just magic a vagina up out of nowhere on the side of his leg. Go, go on, Rich, have a little crack at that. I've, go on, I fucking love you, Richard Aaron. I've put this vagina into my thigh for you. Go on, have a little crack of that. Go on, you know you want it. I, really, I shouldn't be slapping it like that, it's quite sensitive. I've never... <laughs> Though the more I do it, the more I like it. I'm a disgusting, beardy pervert. So, um... I don't want to offend any Christians in the audience. It's uh, the last thing I'd want to do. Because I think in this day and age, we all have to respect each other's beliefs, especially now, no, no matter how ch clearly childish and ridiculous they are. But... Uh, <laughs> But to me, what's weird, some people don't like that bit, and, which is weird to me, because ten minutes ago, I was talking about essentially raping a stab wound in a woman's stomach. Everyone having a right old laugh about that, weren't they? Now, now I come to talk about having consensual sex with a fictional character. <laughs> Suddenly people get on the high horse about it. Your prior is all askew, I'm telling you. The only way you could be offended that by that, as a Christian, I would say, is if you, at the back of your mind, you actually think Jesus might give that a go. That's the only way it's... <laughs> You're going, well, I do believe in Jesus, but I've always, when I've looked at him in pictures, he does look a bit shifty, doesn't he? He looks like, he looks the kind of bloke who, if he had some wounds, he would fuck people. <laughs> does so, but if, if you don't think that, then it's not offensive, is it? So that's what I would say. <laughs> but um, I am going to hell, if that makes any, uh, makes you feel any better. Definitely, there's no way out of that. God will go, you go, you can't go, I'm, that's the get out clause of Christianity. You go, oh, I didn't mean it, I'm joking, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did that. You can go to heaven, you can't, not for that. God will go, no, you can't come in. You did that joke about fucking a vagina in my son's legs. Who, and he died for you. I mean, it was me who made you come up with that idea and, and have the compunction that you would have to say it. But it's still your fault. You have to go to hell. I'm not mentally ill. <laughs> so, um, if you believe in Jesus, you believe Jesus is actually in the room at the moment watching this. What kind of face do you think he's pulling during it? Because his face must be in some expression, mustn't it? But what expression do you think? Because if he's kind of looked scowling a bit, you go, oh, grow up, Jesus. It's just a joke. You're better than, you're better than Richard Herring. You can crush him like a fly. There's no need to get upset about it. Grow up. If he's laughing along, it's like when uh, Tony Blair did those Catherine Tate sketches a bit in back. Go, oh, fuck off. You're not our, your authority figure. Stop trying to be our mate. We don't like you. You're the son of God. Why do you keep on hanging around everywhere? We don't like you. you can't, you're everywhere we go, you're always there. You know, we can't do anything naughty because you'll tell your dad about it. Why don't you fuck off and leave us alone just for once? You're always everywhere. I was having a shit on the toilet last night. There you were in the bathroom, sitting there watching. Did you not sense it was a bit embarrassing and uncomfortable? 
Did you not get that? Fuck off, Jesus. No one likes you. You're a cunt. 